And what, what is your name? Museo, uh, M-U-Z-E-L. What were your parents' names? Um, my mother, my mother's name, Jane, uh, uh, she got married by a marriage name of Jane Bright. And your father's name? He, he, he was Leonard. Um, what did your um, father do when he was here? Well, he he would uh, I don't know who he do a little carpenter work and, and do a little barbering, a little bit barbering. Yes. Okay. And um, did you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I have. And who were they? Uh, I have I have one sister uh, named uh, Mildred. Mildred and. Mamie and Ann Law. And yeah, I had some brothers. My brothers, uh, I had one brother named Artis, one named Louis, and, and Joffrey, uh -huh. and Julius. And you had a pretty big family. Yes, I did. There's nine of us. Mm -hmm. Do you like music? Yes, I do. What kind of music do you like? I like most any kind of most of them. porch and watch the world go by I'd wonder when my grandma would say my time does fly it seems like only yesterday that big Ike run the store and we were cleaning up the mess from the storm of 44 I love to hear the stories of how it used to be Tales of ships and sailors that sailed upon the sea Running barefoot down the old dirt road Swimming in the creek Playing tag on Mayo's Hill Geeking flounders on the reef He would sit and tell me stories Of how it was back then Fish and fowl a plenty and your neighbor was your friend Now those times have gone away, they passed us by somehow I said, oh, if I could just go back and know what I know now We call her Musa and Musel and Musi and Muse and today we gather to celebrate her 100 years. My family and I have always considered you and your family a special part of us. And I learned from your sister, Mildred, years ago, some of your family history. How your grandparents, Harkus and Winnie Blunt, came to Ocracoke from Blunt's Creek after the slaves were freed. Harkus was an excellent carpenter and boat builder, and they later had two daughters, Anna Laura and Jane, your mother. Jane worked at the old Doxy clam factory with Winnie and met and married Leonard Bryant of Englehard. Some of Leonard's family are here today, Leon. As you begin the second century of your life, we just wanted you to know how special you are and what your life has meant to all of us and that we love you. Did you go meet the mailboat when it would come? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't, but some other people would uh, meet the mail. A lot of people on all would meet the mailboat. And uh, when she came, you used to have the mailboat bring mail in. You could get a post office on the other side of the creek, but not there anymore. The kind of mail, too. People used to go and meet the mailboat down to the wharf. Right? Mm -hmm. We hope that you have many more birthdays and then I'll be able to come back and help you celebrate every one of them. And I hope you'll be around to help celebrate my hundredth birthday. <laughs> As you look and the way you
keep it going. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be that surprised. <laughs> tell you, uh, on behalf of the Hyde County Board of, of Commissioners and for the County of Hyde, I want to present, we want to present this plaque to Musial on her 100th birthday. In celebration of her 100th birthday, March the 12th, 2004, presented by High County Board of Commissioners. This is for you. When Kenny first asked me to speak, I said no. I can't. The next time Kenny and I sp um, spoke to each other, I said, Kenny, I changed my mind. I decided to speak. He said, I know. How do you know? Well, I know you, Mary. And I know you have a big mouth, et cetera, et cetera. At Mew, I remember how Charles, your son, used to wheel me in, the in my little red wagon in the backyard. That was one of the pleasant memories when I was four or five years old. I remember when you, my mother, and I were walking down the street in Beaufort, North Carolina, and your suitcase flew open, and I, a four-year-old, was delighted. To me, that was hilarious. That was a memory. <laughs> there were so many other things that I remember. I remember how you used to play the music all day long. She loved Nashville. And she used to drive Aunt Anne and me crazy sometimes because she would play one song forever, on and on and on. And Aunt, Aunt Anne would say, can't you stop that sometime? But then we would look at each other and we would say, oh, we thank God that she's here with us. And we did. We thank God that you were able to play that music. Whenever I was ready to pack to go home, we always exchanged gifts you, Aunt Babe, and I. But I remember on one occasion, you did not know that I was observing you very carefully. And you, with your meager savings, went into my purse, and your hand went into the purse. But I had seen the whole scene. You were not removing anything. You had first gone to your, into your, uh, dresser and you had removed ten dollars and you silently out of the goodness of your heart put that ten dollars in my purse that's something i will never forget I and i feel you i'm just uh, signing off you. by saying thank you for the memories i've got uh, three things to to say and present to muse the first one is a a letter and uh, a document from Senator Mark Bass Knight, who, who very much wanted to be here tonight and could not. So he does send this letter. And a number of years ago, uh, Mark visited uh, Muse at her house. And I took a picture of the two of them standing on the porch. And that picture today hangs not only over her bed, but also in his office, a very important picture to him. And he also uh, submitted this uh, state, of, and I'll read it, State of North Carolina, be it known to all that the Senate of the North Carolina General Assembly presents this certificate of congratulations to Muselle Bryant in honor of her 100th birthday, this 12th day of March 2004, signed by the Lieutenant Governor and also the, the President of the Senate, Mark Bass Knight. The second thing is a, uh, a letter and also a document from uh, Governor Mike Easley, and very quickly that red letter reads, Dear Mrs. Bryant, it is my great privilege to extend greetings on the occasion of your 100th birthday on March 12th. Your continued celebration of life is an inspiration to all who know you. We are indeed fortunate to have the wisdom, experience, and guidance of our senior citizens. 
Birthdays are a special time for all of us, and I know your birthday celebration with family and friends will be filled with laughter and fellowship. This is the perfect opportunity to reflect upon days gone by and also to look forward with anticipation to the future. Again, congratulations on reaching this tremendous milestone. With kindness regards, I am uh, Mike Easley. And then a, a certificate which reads, uh, The Century Club, a cert centennial certificate of appreciation, Mrs. Muzel Bryant, in recognition of your service to your state, family, and community, we honor you who are 100 years and older given this 12th day of March, 2004, and signed by Governor Easley. It keeps my feet on the ground. Anyhow, I'm gonna start out by saying I'd like to thank all of you for coming tonight um, to celebrate Musi's 100th birthday. Special thanks to my family uh, my brother, my sister, my nephews, my niece, my sister-in-law, my um, relatives for helping me with music when I have to be off the island for work or personal reasons. They stay with her. Uh, she's in a lot better shape than I'm in, but... And somehow I've learned how to listen to a sound Going back The magic The morning Is bringing Is a song We also hope life. you join us Later tonight in the dance Like you did for Kenny's birthday party A few years ago Didn't get home at 2 a.m. <laughs> Check one, two. Good evening. Welcome to Howard's Club and to Miss Muse Bright's 100th birthday. Happy birthday, Muse.
We could just go back and know what we know now. 